Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you a brutally honest first impressions of the December Babe Box from the Honey Bee Shop. I wanna be completely honest, transparent. These are my first impressions, this is not a review. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and say right off the bat that I have seen on Instagram what some of these products look like, the sneak peeks. And I gotta say, I'm not 100% psyched about this box, but I'm trying to put that aside and not be biased at all and just look at this with fresh eyes. All right. Okay, this is actually really nice. So this is a desk pad and the foil is actually, it's gold hollow, which is really pretty. I, I'm actually really impressed with this. Um, the size is, I mean, it's, it's pretty big. Um, yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this. This I think I'm going to give as a gift. I thought this would be a good Christmas gift for someone. Um, because realistically, while I like it, I probably won't use it that much because I just, I use my planner. Um, and I use like filler paper. I just probably won't use it. So I thought it would be a good gift. But I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that. Alright, so here's the actual contents of the box. I am so excited to finally have one of these pens, I will say. So this is a Microperm, uh, it's by Sakura, Microperm 05 Permanent Ultra Fine Pen. And it looks a lot like a Sharpie pen. Um, I've never written with one of these, so I'm excited to try it, but this is supposed to write on all the stickers in the sticker books. Um, those ones that are kind of hard to write on, you have to either use like a ballpoint pen or I usually use like a ultra fine Sharpie permanent marker. Um, so I'm very excited to have one of these finally. So that's good. I think one of, honestly, I think one of these should be included with every box because the stickers that you can't write on, like th this is just perfect for that. All right. So we have journaling cards here. It says, let's not adult today. That's cute. And then adulty AF. This is the washi tape. Oh, I forgot there was a clear washi in here. Oh my God. Y'all know me and clear washi. Oh, okay. We will, we're going to open this in a little bit. I'm going to pull everything out and then we'll open it up. We have our deco cards. That's something different. Very interesting. Could be good photo props. We have our vinyl die cuts. More tab cards, which I'm kind of disappointed that these are included because we, we just got these last month. But I do like the... Oh, this gold hollow is actually really pretty. I do like the um, the labels to be able to use. And honestly, I'm just going to use these probably as washi cutters and um, to display washi, like washi cards and maybe to even send some washi samples. But I, I mean, we just had it last month, so it's a little weird to include it again. But that's just my two cents. So I'm not really going to open these up. I mean, it's just they're clear, clear tabs. Um, and then we have the labels here for them, which I think is super cute. We have our sticker book. This is a pencil board, apparently. I'm going to get into that. And this is actually a planner. Um, I'm very, very likely going to sell this. I am not, I don't have any use for this and I'm not a big spiral bound girl. So we will open it and look at it, but I'm likely going to uh, sell this, honestly. And I've known that ever since I saw it because I just don't have a reason to use it. So this is the sticker book. And I'm going to say right off the bat that the thing that made me not like this when I saw it online, this whole box is the color palette. And that's just personal preference, but... This color, not a fan. I like that color to eyeshadow, and that's that's pretty much it. But that's just me personally. Okay, so this is a little bit different in the way that it that it opens. Alright, so we've got our 
full boxes here, some quarter boxes, some checklists. No. This is a color. I don't like this color. I do not like this color at all. I can't sugarcoat it. I It looks... I don't like it. Now this color, I'm a big fan of. Love this mint green. I love Professional Napper and the bill stickers. I think it's very nice to include. So I'm probably going to throw um, most of these in my budgeting planner because we got budget, finances, no spend, to buy. I think that's very nice to include. This is actually really pretty. This like deep magenta color. Um, and you have little notes here. You have this rainbow. This is very pretty. I love this color. Oh my God. This muted green. Definitely love this. Um, I love tomorrow's new day. I love these. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I do like that color a lot. Love these. Don't love this one because I don't like that color. Um, these are very cute. These, I like these a lot. And we have our date covers. We have little like little squares. I think that's very cute. Oh, nice. These are different than they usually are. Look, we have funds. You got the little dollar with the... Oh, these are cute. These are very cute. I like these. And the little game controllers are always a nice touch. This is what... Like, these pages here is almost what, like, made me the most excited out of this whole box. So, these are all, like, adulting stickers and they're clear. So, we all love a good clear sticker. Um, I really like, you know, uh, reply to a text because that's, that's me. Like, that's a big deal. Put money in savings, hit snooze only once, only spend a hundred at Target. <laughs> Tackled Mount Foldmore made me laugh so hard. And I know exactly what Mount Foldmore is. Y'all know when you got that laundry that keeps piling up and piling up and it's just, just clean clothes just in a big pile in your basket that you got to deal with. Yeah, bane of my existence. Not even bothered. I survived. And it's got a colon, so you can put in whatever you want. Wash clothes for the second time. That's that's real life. Could have lost my shit, but didn't. Lo that's, oh, that's me. Thought about going to the gym. <laughs> Enjoyed my coffee hot today. So I, I really like these. Um, and the best part is you get two pages. So there's definitely... Um, a couple on here that I know I'll never use and I'll probably put on something to give to someone else like fed the kids I don't have kids kept the kids alive <laughs> again don't have kids so I'll probably honestly um put them on like a reusable uh sticker sheet and you know put them in with someone's happy mail when I send some <sighs> okay I might be stupid I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about these. Uh, what, what are these? I'm not a hundred percent sold on these. Um, I just, they're okay. I really like these sticky notes, but I'm not, I don't really like these. These could be useful at some point. I just, no, I'm not crazy about that page. I really love these boxes. Again, y'all know I don't like this color. I really wish the shirt was a different color. I just don't, I don't like it. Um, I love Professional Napper. Do Not Disturb, Thought About. I do love these and, and these two. I just don't like this color. I'm sorry. And then these could be very interesting for layering under clear stickers. Um, I'll definitely use the ones that aren't that color. But yeah, so that's a sticker book. Um, I like it overall. I definitely, I don't like... Uh, I don't like the ones with that that color and just really this this page back here. I'm not I'm not crazy about that, but I'm definitely glad that um, these colors are included. I love this mint color and this is probably my favorite. This muted green color. Um, I'll definitely use these. I'll definitely definitely use this book. Okay. So again, like I love this journaling card, but I don't like the color of her shirt. But I do feel. It's not as, like, intense on this journaling card as it is in the sticker book. So, I definitely, like, I'll definitely keep this. I think it's cute. Okay. Before we get into this planner and the die cuts and the deco cards and the washi. Okay. 
We gotta talk. Okay, we gotta talk about this. Oh my god, the other side. We have to talk. Okay, so this this apparently is a B6 pencil board. Okay. It's a piece of laminated cardstock. I could make this myself. That's my, when I saw this, that this was included, I was really disappointed. Um, I just think this is a, a cheap cop out. Like, oh, we can't think of anything else. So we'll throw this in. Um, I'm, ju I'm just gonna, I'm being honest. I don't, I don't like it. And I don't like that color. And I do have a few B60Ns that I could use this for, but like, I don't want to. So I'm definitely going to um, give this to a friend who may actually use it, um, who, you know, doesn't have a laminator and can't make something like this, and that likes, you know, these colors and this pattern, but I just think this is, this is lame. I'm sorry, it's lame. Just compared to the items that have come in the past bay boxes, I just think that this is um, definitely not up to, you know, the standards that I feel has been set um, for the items in the bay boxes. I just thought this was pretty disappointing. Okay, deco cards. We're going to take a look at these. And these are new, at least since I've been a Bay Box subscriber. I've never had any. All right, so first of all, we have a rainbow. The only thing wrong with this rainbow is that color. Um, <laughs> Adult DAF. I do like that one. Tomorrow is a new day. Again, with that color, it's not as bad on, on here. I like this a lot. Professional Napper with the gold hollow. Love that. Definitely going to use that. This is just that that pattern. Um, could be maybe used as a layering piece when I'm making like a, a dashboard or a cover when I'm laminating. Could potentially layer something on this. So that, that could be interesting to use. This could have lost my shit but didn't. Absolutely. Love. Another one of these. It's okay. Um, could be used to layer things. Could be used as a prop. Another adulty AF. Do not disturb. Definitely love that. And then this with the gold hollow is actually very pretty. So these are okay. Um, not, you know, nothing that uh, makes me want to, you know, jump up and dance, but they're, uh, they're okay. They're cool. All right, we gotta open this washi. Just, I'm just struggling here. I'm just struggling. Okay, y'all. So we have three um, five millimeter, I think, washi, the, the smaller washies. This one I'm definitely selling um, because this is so similar to the um, Blush Baby washi. It does have that gold hollow foil, which is pretty, but I just don't really foresee myself ever using this. It's just too similar to those other ones. So I'm definitely going to be selling that one. But y'all, it looks like we have some clear washi. And y'all know this could like be worth the box for me. I love clear washi. Let's see. Because I can't remember what's on this from the picture. I really, truly can't. So, oh my God, I forgot it's checklists. Y'all, it's perforated checklists. That is very cool, very functional, and something I will absolutely use. That is awesome. Perforated checklist. Don't remember what this is, but I see that it's gold hollow, which is, which I'm actually really, I really like. Y'all know I'm a silver girl. I like silver better than gold, but this is pretty. Oh, yes. Look, next week to do, to buy... Errands and they're perforated. That's that's pretty cool. That it's very hard for me to get this to focus, but that is actually really really cool. And I I'll definitely use that. Yeah. So clear washi always a win in my book. I would be happy if there was clear washi in every box. I love clear washi a lot. So yeah, that's definitely a win. Um, <laughs> we have our vinyl die cuts. This is usually my favorite part of the box. I do love getting die cuts. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now. I already know that this one is going to be something I either give to a friend or sell. Um, 
I'm not a huge rainbow person in the first place. I I appreciate and like rainbows and they do make me think of my friend Queen, but this color on here is just throwing me off. I don't like it. However, love this. And this is probably going to go in my catch-all planner that I use for work um, and just for like everything. I think, yeah, I, I love that. Um, Adulty AF. This will definitely... Um, this will probably also go in my catch-all that I use for work, I think, because, you know, working, adulting, I think that's going to be great. Another rainbow, I'll definitely sell that one or give it away. The star in that color, I'm going to put in that pile too. I love this little heart. This is really cute. Professional napper, 100%. Like, I just woke up from a nap before I started filming, so. Do not disturb. Love. Tomorrow's a new day. Love that. Selling this one. <laughs> Selling these. Don't like these. I don't really get it. I don't really even... Yeah, I, I'm just not a fan. These, however... Oh, these are cute! Okay, I'm going to... Yeah. So I'm definitely keeping all these. I think these are very cute. These are pretty cool and I feel like if you um wrote in permanent marker on them like in a notebook that could be that could be fun and I'm glad they don't have one in that color and then you have your three girls who are very cute love the hair love the makeup love the the lipstick I just I don't like the shirt color um but I do I do like these I'm probably gonna keep her um, and her and give away one of them. I just, I don't feel like I need three of those. And I also don't feel like I need all these either. So I feel like, I mean, you get two of these. So one of these. Um, yeah, but these are pretty cute. I, um, definitely don't love them as much as, as the other ones I've had before, but there are a few in here that are real bangers. Like this one, that's, that's very cute. And this professional napper, that's, that's my favorite one. Oh, that's my second favorite. <laughs> I lost my ship then. Yeah, so definitely I like them. Um, there's quite a few that I'm going to be uh, passing on to someone else, but I have quite a few to keep. And here we have the planner, okay? Now, like I said, just from the jump, I'm probably going to sell this. I don't have any use for it. I already have enough planners. I don't need a planner. But I'm sure someone would love to have this. So we're just going to do a flip through. Okay. So this is B6 size spiral bound. The paper is kind of just feels like regular printer paper, but a little bit better. Now, look, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. This page is already like messed up from the um from the spiral so this paper really reminds me if you saw my video when i got my free bloom daily planners planner that i use for budgeting this paper is pretty much identical to that so it's not not the best but it gets the job done um, but you definitely can see through the pages so if that bothers you, you may want to skip out but you can definitely see you can see through to the other side but we have our dailies here. Um, we have, you know, checklists and then this over here just for anything. And then we have breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, again, this is something I'm not going to use. So I'm definitely going to uh, pass this on to someone else. And then we have our weeklies. I do like the weekly. I like this layout. I think it's very cute. And then we just go to our dailies. So um, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we have monthlies in here. I guess this would be your monthly. Yeah, and then you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, so like I said, this planner, um, I'm probably going to sell this or gift it to someone because it's just not something I'm going to use. But uh, it's definitely a, you know, a decent little planner. It is B6 size, you know, five by seven. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, like I said, the paper, not the greatest quality. Um, very much like the Bloom Daily Planners paper, um, just kind of that mid-grade kind of you know you can see through and I'm sure when you write you can see through on the other side but this is definitely a great little um 
you know, planner to use. If I didn't already have a uh, planner for, you know, budgeting, basically if I didn't already have the planners that I have, <laughs> I would use this, but I just have no use for this. So, but yeah, so I think that's everything. So let's pull everything back together. Okay, so first impressions. Like I said, being honest, first impressions. So this box does call the Babe Box subscription is $30 a month plus shipping. So for me, it ends up being about uh, $35, $36. It'll depend on where you live as far as how much the shipping will cost. Um, so do I think this box is worth that amount of money? Um, I do. And that's because this alone, like if I went to buy this, would probably be at least like eight dollars and like I said I'm gonna use this I'm gonna gift it um I think it's a really nice gift to give somebody it's it's pretty to keep on your desk and for someone who doesn't really use a planner it's definitely um a great way to just jot down various things going on throughout the week and have it just easily visible right there on your desk so I definitely um am happy with this and like I said I'm I'm really impressed by this gold hollow I didn't think I was gonna like it that much um, these deco cards are definitely a neat idea. I'm not 100% like sold on them. They're, they're kind of flimsy. I definitely think I'm going to laminate. Um, you know, y'all know me ever since I got that laminator, I can't stop laminating. Um, but I'm definitely going to laminate my favorite ones and probably gift some of these when I send some happy mail. They're okay. I'm not crazy about them. The die cuts, I definitely, it's kind of half and half. I really like this pile. I don't like this pile. And normally, I would like all of the die cuts from the bait box. So, a little disappointed with that. Um, but I will definitely be able to kind of sell my extras that I don't want, which is good. Because I know other people who aren't bait box subscribers may want some of this. Now, the extras are sold on the Honey Bee Shop website. Um, they are listed, uh, you know, usually like a week or two after the babe box um is kind of delivered to people um but yeah the sticker book I like I'm definitely most stoked about these clear stickers and I'm I'm glad that there are two pages and I do like a lot of these but like I said I don't like I don't like this color this I'm not a fan of this um I really don't know how to describe this color other than baby poop I, I'm sorry I don't how else do you describe that it's not brown it's not green it's it's not like hazel it's like it, 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 yeah so I definitely like a lot of the stickers in here but the ones in that color I will not be using I just me personally not a fan where I talked about the planner we talked about this we have the tap cards which if you did not get the um, the last box, the book gazer, I believe the book gazer is what these came in. Um, then you'd probably be really stoked about these, but since I already have them, I have one sitting right here actually on my desk. I did put a piece of washi on and you can use to hold stickers and, you know, cut washi and, and do whatever. But, um, I just think it's kind of disappointing to get these again. I like having the stickers to use, like to label it, but I'm realistically, I probably won't do that. I just know how I am. I don't think I'm going to use these to actually, like, mark anything. So, I'll probably sell these as well. Um, the journaling cards, I really, like I said, I, I wish this shirt was a different color. If this shirt was green, I would be really excited. But I definitely, um, I'm definitely more happy with the color on this versus how it is in the sticker book. I feel like it's a little more, like, muted on here and I, I will keep this I really I like this one um, I like this one too I think it's pretty the washi tape I will be gifting or selling this one because I the blush baby washies were just so similar that I just yeah I just don't think it's um worth me keeping I know I won't be using that but I really like these clear ones very happy with these and that makes it worth it um, for me, this between this desk pad, the washies, the die cuts that I do like, um, the deco cards, the ones that I do like, and this pen, 
Like, I feel like that makes it already worth it for me. I gotta say, the most disappointing part of this entire box is this. I just think this is really lame. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It just looks like something I could make at home. And it just seems like they needed another item to throw in. And they said, oh, we'll do this. But um, I will not be using this. This will definitely be passed along to somebody else. So, as you can see, you know, just again, for my first impressions... My plan, sell all of this. Some of these, I haven't really decided quite yet which ones I'll be selling. I know I don't want this one with that color. Or this one. And selling this. So, I guess it's pretty much half and half. I am keeping this stuff and selling this. It's a little more than half that I'm keeping. So, overall... I think it was worth it for me to get the box. I definitely got some good stuff. I just am not um just not in love with with that color and the the pencil board or bookmark. Um I just don't don't like and I don't like uh some of these die cuts mainly because of that color. The color I'm just not a big fan of. But anyway, and the planner. Um I think it's it's a cool idea to include a planner, but I just feel like most people already have the planner they're going to use. I, I don't know. But anyway, so that is my first impressions of the December 2020 Honeybee Shop Bay Box. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, um, the extras from the Bay Box, these items will be listed on the website. Um, not exactly sure when, but I know they do list the extras if you're interested in purchasing any of this. Um... And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And I will see you next time. Bye!